Okay, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna talk about my indoor plants. <laughs> Whoa, it took me a whole day because it is, the spring is coming, my plants are growing, believe it or not, they're thriving and I love it. I love, 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 love the fact that my poinsettia is still red. <laughs> still it it never had it, the the leaves never got so big but i think it's because i need to repot it now and um but my all my other plants are thriving in my house they love it i love it that they love it and i love propagating them because i've gotten um separate um plants from my other plants because they have grown so much like monkey mask in the bathroom has been just climbing and I, ooh, it's just great. And so what I did for them is once you water, water during the, the, the year, it kind of um, packs the soil in. So I teased the soil, I added worm casting and then I added more soil if it needed. And then I added more sand to discourage the gnats from laying their eggs in it um, i've seen a lot of gnats but not because of my plants but because of the actually because of my plants but i have those um yellow sticky things that where they stick and they they just get stuck there and then i repotted some of them because the the roots are um bot bound and i need to do one two three probably four. Oh my goodness i have to show you i have to show you my begonia i am so proud of this begonia i keep talking about this begonia because it when i when i got it, it was a stick with a little tiny leaf you know and i never thought that it would live but I have to show you this, guys. I have to show you. You're going to flip. Oh, here, little lady. Here's my little favorite plant. It's the Jungle Girls. I'm going to show you. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it's so beautiful. I'm going to show you. Oh, my love. Look at this girl. Look at this girl, guys. <laughs> Aren't you so proud? Look at this. Look at her. See? And look, there's a baby. Look at the baby. Look at that baby. See that baby? And it was a stick. <laughs> you see the sticks? That was a stick before. And you know what? You know what this, this girl loved? Is the fact that I gave it a pull. Are you just like, are you just like in awe? Look at the beautiful, okay. But also because I don't want to jinx. <laughs> She's beautiful. Look from, uh, from, wow, my God, so pretty. Okay, we're going to do this. We're going to do the thumbnail. There's the thumbnail right there. There's the thumbnail right there. Look at the baby. Look at that baby. I never knew. This is just so awesome. And let's see. This one. You know, it has these things at the very tip. I think it kind of it kind of protects it from getting so dry but it's it's never hated me this plant loves me to pieces and i love it to pieces too all right that's enough that's enough bragging that's enough of you i talk to her like this hi how are you pretty girl my other one <laughs> my other begonia that's the one that was so expensive like 45 dollars and it's like i'll show you hold on Look, I mean, she's pretty, don't get me wrong, but I think she's from a very 
weak stock. Not like the other one. And to think that when I first got that one, I was going to complain about it. Like, hey, what does this thing? I mean? I don't know. It's just, it's so thin. I don't know what's going on here. If you guys have any advice for me about this plant, please let me know. Come on, really? Look how, I mean, it's growing some things, but it's just the, the leaves are so thin. I wonder if there's any leaves coming from the bottom part. I don't know. But I'm not giving up on her yet because I really like this, this plant. I love the markings. Look at that marking. Isn't that cool? But the other one, I'm just... The other one, I am just so proud of it. Anyway. All right, guys. So that's all I can brag about right now. I didn't Actually, I only brag about one plant. But I'm going to show you all my other plants in the next video. So don't go away. Thanks for watching, guys. You guys have a wonderful day. And come back next time. Please click the like button if you haven't already. Click the subscribe button and the notification bell because I am on a roll. See you later. Bye. XOXO. Today is fertilizing and fluffing soil and adding sand day and all my indoor plants. So I have this indoor plant as a ZZ plant. And what happens is every time you water, it packs the, the soil. So what I mean is I am just fluffing the soil at the top like this. I'm doing this to every single plant. That's why it's taking me, it's going to take me all day to do. But it's worth it. It's only one time a year that I'm going to do this. Unless I have to repot, replant them. And then I also dust every single leaf. Like, I still haven't been able to get all of it. But just dusting it like this. So it can continue getting photosynthesis. Um, and I noticed, and this is the only plant that's indoor plant that does not like me it used to be didn't like me but look look at that beautiful new little leaf that's coming out and i also removed like all the dead ones and stuff like this one i cut the tips because they were like maybe i missed some but like the tips but look at the new one the new one's coming up pretty good. This this plant right here, um, I noticed that it needs more water than any other plant. So one, two, it likes water. So I kind of have to make a mental note to water them twice a week. Especially when the leaves are this thick. So that's what I'm doing. And then I have my... worm casting and i'm just doing this like once a year unless i see that um the plant is struggling then i will um do it again sometimes when there's a stowaway worm in there it makes the plant even happier because it stays aerated maybe i should add one in here and they and they live for a long time like four years there i just added more of these because i'm really excited about this being so healthy and then I actually added diatomaceous earth at one point, but I don't really need it anymore because the sand will discourage the 
the mats to live in there. And then after that, I put my water in. I water it. I haven't watered this plant for like three weeks already. So it's time. You know, and I sometimes I see like yellowing, the yellowing of some of the these leaves, but it seems to be, it seems to like it that I neglect it every once in a while. And then once that's, this is uh, horticulture, I could never say the word, horticultural sand. Then I just add some more in. And then when it gets deeper, like, Every time I water, you know, the sand will go into the soil. That's fine because the soil needs to be fast draining anyway. So the roots can get to the nutrients. And that's it. And pretty much I cover it with sand because it discourages the gnats from breeding like laying their eggs there. I learned that from a Facebook group, but I'm not on Facebook anymore. But really, that's all you need to know to get rid of the gnats. This is the best way that I notice. And the only time I really get gnats in my house is if I leave some vegetable rotting and they like that. And then you also got to keep it. And with the sand, it keeps the moisture inside the, the soil instead of on top. Let me just make sure that it's all covered up. See, there's another one right there. Right there. If I'm pointing. Look at the tip. Right. Oop. Okay, I'll move it. And then I just pack it, I just spread it and pack it a little bit. Ooh, what is this? Why is this very loose there? This is loose. And pack it, pack that in. There. I did it to all of them. I did it to this and these guys. So I have that whole room over there still yet to do, but I'm gaining, so. Here's an update for this Aglaonema. It looks like Something is coming up here. I can't see it like with just a regular eye, but it looks like something is wanting to come up from the middle part. Where's my finger? Right there. Something's about to sprout. We'll see. Mm -hmm.